Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, keep the game. Now I kind of understand why Tank trying to hurry up and get back in the ring because he may need some money to pay for lawyers and settle some lawsuits out of court. Now, allegedly, and I'll use the term allegedly, a woman in Dallas is suing Tank Davis for approximately $2 million, claiming that Tank Davis punched her in the head multiple times. Now, why would Tank punch her in the head multiple times is beyond me. I will say this much innocent until proven guilty. But this is one of the many incidents Tank has been attached to. There's been quite a few incidents Tank has been attached to, you know, in his hometown of Baltimore and some other incidents in Atlanta and other places. Now, Tank was recently arrested for assaulting somebody at a at a bar, if I'm not mistaken, and now this is just the latest incident involving Devontae Tate Davis. Devontae Tate Davis is an exceptional fighter. He has the chance to become a superstar, but his career in boxing may be derailed. He having incidents like this. We all won't take the new good, and we all won't take the season in boxing with Tate. As I said before, Tate is going to have to look in the mirror. Stop blaming everybody else for what he continues to find himself getting linked to. At the end of the day, it ain't about, you know, your promoter and all that type of shit. It's about you. Tank is 22 years old now. It's time for Tank to decide what's best for Tank before he, run, you know, ends up not being able to fight no more because he's sitting up in jail or something. So... That's all I got to say about that. I'm out.